Joined by a familiar face, Howard, with no Badgers here at the Combine. What brings you here today? Well, just coming in to, you know, see old faces and, um, you know, just support the Big Ten guys that are here. Um, but also just, you know, the camaraderie. Uh, back home in Chicago, take, take care of some business. I actually have an event here at the uh, Quest facility. So just tying down some of those things and uh, making sure we're good to go. What's some of your uh, favorite connections here that you get to relive as you reflect back on your playing days? Oh, wow. Well, first of all, I wasn't good enough to be at this level. But you know what? You, you just remember the players that were good enough. Um, you know, my era in the early 90s, you had NBA players on every Big Ten team pretty much. You know, the Chris Webbers, the Jawan Howards, the Jalen Roses. You know, just the Michigan guys alone were pretty talented in Indiana, Purdue. So there was always NBA guys in the early 90s. And, you know, the thing you just remember, how hard we all competed. And, and how humble everyone was. So we didn't, we weren't quite sure if we knew if we were good enough to play at this level. So you always just try to compete as hard as you could and let someone else tell you how good you were. Well, that's certainly going to be happening here at the Combine. So lend us your experience in terms of what these players are trying to accomplish day one of the Combine. Yeah, well, you know what? You want to set the tone. Um, and I'll tell you what, Michelle, you also want to make sure that you make a good impression, especially that first impression. So they've gone through the interviews already, for sure. They've also uh, had an opportunity to make the you know, face-to-face -face impression. So now it's an opportunity to get on a court, show what they can do, and at the same time, show some things that you may have not shown on the college level and get a chance to expand your game that way. How about for a player like Ethan Happ, who yeah. was not invited to the combine, what's your perception on... He doesn't get that opportunity right. to have the combine, but perhaps it's also a benefit in the end. What's your interpretation of that decision? Well, you know, he's getting some workouts, and that's the thing that, you know, it's behind closed doors, so none of the hoopla that this brings. But at the same time, making an impression, getting feedback. You know, um, Nigel Hayes went through the same situation. Although he was invited to the combine, he still had the workouts with the teams, and that's just, that's just as important. So to have that feedback, to sit back and, you know, get that information, process it, and then go back to college hopefully and make sure that you know you apply those things and help your team win where do you think Ethan Happ's ability could translate to the NBA from your perception I'll tell you what Michelle in today's NBA it's positionless so you look at what Cleveland's doing what Boston's doing I mean they just have players out there so if you could put five playmakers on the floor that benefits any organization and Ethan's a playmaker you look at how he can stuff the stats and make they put his team in position to win whether it's ball handling I mean, remember now, he played point center for us a little bit this year with, um, you know, the injuries we had and with Brad Davidson playing with one arm. Uh, we had him at the point for some sometimes. Uh, and he has that ability that he can handle the ball, he can make plays. Uh, obviously, the shooting is what everyone talks about. But I tell you what, when you can get to the, get to the rim, finish and score there, and also set up other people, that's a great asset to have, and Ethan has that. Lastly, very important question for you. You spent uh, a week with us at Big Ten Network yeah, as one of our yeah, basketball yeah. analysts. Yeah. Scale of 1 to 10, how much do you miss working with us here at oh, the Big Ten wow. Network? And uh, how does that maybe translate to what you're doing now? Well, you know what? <laughs> it, it, it really does translate because, you know, you have to explain, you know, scouting reports and player personnel and things of that nature as an assistant coach when you're doing your scouts. And then, obviously, you have to do it in front of camera. Now, obviously, the, the makeup person isn't with us when we're doing the scouts, but um, I miss the people. You know, the thing I loved about BTN is it's all about our conference. It's everything positive about our conference, and it's a great conference, as we all know. So uh, tell everyone I said hello back in the studio, and uh, keep a seat warm for me when I'm 70 years old and I'm ready to go back to TV. <laughs> I'm sure they'll welcome you back. Howard, thanks so much for Get the time. Appreciate it.